What's up guys, I'm Jace. Uh, I'm one of the head sales guys over here at Sport Optics. And today I wanted to take some time to highlight what I would consider to be a little bit of a unique product in, in the optics industry right now, um, you know, for good reason, and kind of go over the, you know, hows and, and, and whys and, you know, give you some ideas of why this may be a good fit for you. So first off, to kind of give you a little bit of backstory about the why, um, PRS and other shooting sports, NRL Hunter, various others are becoming very uh, pro prolific in, in the industry and in the shooting world in general these days, which I think is fantastic. Um, the, the more we can get more people involved and show that these things aren't scary like some of the media w would have you believe, the, the more it helps our calls and, and it's fun and it, and it helps you learn a valuable skill and, and it's, it, it's just awesome. So with, with that all being said, the PRS has a few different divisions depending on what you're wanting to shoot and uh, you know a few other things. And one of the fastest growing divisions of the PRS is the production division. And what the production division is, is essentially a way for newer shooters or people that may not necessarily want to, you know, dive in and dump a whole bunch of money right away um, to where they can still come in and, and, and be competitive and still potentially do very well. So the limitations of this production division puts an actual uh, price limitation on the optic. And that price limitation is $2,500 and under. And what Zeiss has done with this LRP S3 is essentially fill that niche um, of that limitation. Now, not only is this scope a, a fantastic optic in its own right, you know, you, you take PRS and price limitations out of the equation, this is still one hell of a scope, you know, for the, for the price, for the feature set. Um, you know, at the end of the day, no matter what you really wanted to use this thing for, it, it's going to do absolutely fantastic. But I think it is definitely worth highlighting what it is, you know, because of PRS and realistically, I think it's kind of hands down the, the best option for a, a newer shooter or somebody wanting to get into production class shooting, you know, um, Zeiss could have easily charged another $500 for this scope and it would have been completely worth it. But the fact that they're able to pack everything that they've packed into this thing at a price point of $24.99, so you can be within that limitation, you can go compete with this thing, I, I think is, is pretty fantastic. Um, so that's enough of me rambling about that, I think. We're going to kind of get into the nitty gritty of the details of the scope. Um, so you kind of have a, a, a better idea of what its capabilities actually are. So we'll kind of, you know, start back to front and go from there. We kind of have, uh, you know, your, your basics that you come to expect out of, you know, every modern scope these days, right? You have your dioptic adjustment for, you know, guys like me, your glasses wears or anybody, um, anybody else. So you can adjust for your particular eyesight um, up up from that, you have your magnification adjustment, which in, in itself is a very, very smooth magnification adjustment. But one really cool feature that Zeiss did here was they integrated a couple of uh, spots here to where you can place an included uh, throw lever or throw knob, however you want to say it. You can see it, this little piece right here, you can essentially unscrew it from where it's at and put it in a few different spots here, whatever spot's more comfortable for you. And uh, you have a, a nice included uh, throw lever versus having to go out and, and buy a separate accessory. From there, we move into the illumination adjustment and the parallax adjustment. Uh, those are both integrated right here on your left-hand knob. Um, 
one super awesome feature of this scope is you don't see too many high magnification scopes going down um, to, to 10 yards on their parallax adjustment. Most of them are gonna have about a 50 yard minimum parallax. Uh, you know, at best, sometimes you'll see a 25. Um, and it, it is becoming more prolific in scopes today, but this is one of the first out there of this type and this high of magnification that you can actually uh, parallax all the way down to, to 10 meters or 10 yards, which makes this scope a viable option even for guys doing like um, like the 22 competitions. I, it, it would be great even for something like that. Um, and then moving up into the elevation turret, you have some extremely um, easy to see, easy to read. The zero stop in itself is, is really easy to set up. And um, then over here, even on the windage knob, it has, it has locking windage turrets, which, you know, most people, once they have their windage turret zeroed, you're not gonna mess with it too much anyway, but you can if you want to. And the fact that it locks is, is, is pretty nice. Uh, up from there, we are going into a 56 millimeter objective lens which, you know, that's about what you would expect from any type of higher powered or competition style scope. Nice big objective lens is gonna give you a nice bright image. Now, as far as the internals itself on the scope, you're gonna have uh, 110 MOA or 32 MRADs of internal adjustment, which is great. That's gonna get you pretty much as far as you ever need to get when when using this thing especially if you're using a, a 20 or if need be a 40 moa rail the reticle itself is going to have um, quite a few brightness settings for both red and green illumination which is pretty cool i'm not a big uh, green illumination guy myself but hey for the guys that uh, prefer that or their eyesight prefers that you have that option um, 34 millimeter tube, again, another really common feature you see in a, in a lot of scopes these days. So you have the absolute most uh, adjustment available as well as a little extra durability in the scope itself. Um, your adjustments on here in the MRAD version are gonna be 0.1 mil adjustments in the MOA version they're going to be quarter MOA adjustments. Again, just for what it is, it's it's an excellent, excellent scope at an excellent price for, for whatever you want to use it as. Yes, it's it's kind of meant to kind of fill fill that PRS niche, but you know, if if you are a long range hunter or just a, a weekend planker, you know, yeah, the scope isn't cheap, it's an investment, but it is amazing what Zeiss was able to to pack into this thing for, for the price. And I, I believe that pretty much covers the scope. Um, and because I know some of you guys are gonna ask just a quick little you know, recap of the gun itself, because I do plan on taking this to a few PRS production matches this year. This is the Bergera competition rifle. This thing is ready to rock right out of the box. You stick the scope on it and this thing is essentially ready to rock just like it is. I did add an Area 419 muzzle brake. We have an AccuTac bipod on here, and then an MPA barrier stop. But this uh, this rifle, it's a, it's a beautiful rifle. The, the scope and the rifle complement each other very well. Um, heavy profile barrel, chambered in six millimeter Creedmoor. Um, and the cool thing about these is these actions mimic a Remington 700 footprint. So any Remington 700 bases are gonna work or you know, if you ever get to the point where you burn out a barrel or just wanna do a caliber swap, any Remington 700 compatible barrel will work for you. Um, fully, fully adjustable length of pull and cheek piece. Comes with an integrated bubble level itself, uh, pistol grip, AICS, 10 round PMAG. This, this, this is a beautiful piece of equipment and it's, it's gonna be ready to rock. So um, I think that's it guys. I sincerely appreciate y'all being here. Uh, I know I have a, a, a tendency to ramble, but that's just because I love this stuff. I, I love dealing with it and, and, and messing with it. And uh, I, I hope, hope y'all can, y'all can see that. Um, so if you have any questions about the Zeiss LRP S3 or any other optic that we offer here at Sport Optics, please reach out anytime. I'm happy to talk at length about what, whatever you want to talk about and help out to the best of my ability. 
I'm a, I'm a shooter myself. I, I, I love it all. Uh, hunting, co competition, shooting. When it comes to binoculars, spotters, anything, I'm, uh, uh, I'm happy to be a, a resource. So please message me, call me, DM me. And uh, again, thanks for being here. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. God bless.